day, Memorial Day, to remember everybody who gave their lives for freedom and democracy. And freedom and democracy is politics. Memorial Day 2022, a day for parades and for politics. With less than one month until the Democratic and Republican primaries for New York governor, contenders spent the day on the campaign trail. This is this is the part I really embrace, the chance to just meet everyday New Yorkers. Gubernatorial hopeful Jamani Williams began his Memorial Day at the parade in Laurelton, Queens. We caught up with Congressman Tom Swazi at the Memorial Day parade in his hometown, Glen Cove. I got such a wonderful reception today and been getting a good reception wherever I go. People who care about crime, taxes and affordability and helping our kids in the troubled schools, that's what they want. That's what I'm talking about. Williams and Swazi have both been working to convince Democratic voters for months that Kathy Hochul should not be the party's candidate for governor. At the Douglaston Little Neck Memorial Day Parade, Hochul told us her strategy is simple. Talk about what we've been successful with, giving people relief from the high cost of living, understanding the needs of everyday New Yorkers. Hochul has maintained her lead in the primary polls and in fundraising. Hochul currently has 18.5 million in cash on hand. Swazi has 2.7 million, and Jamani Williams has $131,000 to last him until primary day. On social media, Williams said that's 130,000 more than he had in 2018 when he ran a tight race against Hochul for the Democratic primary for lieutenant governor. Republican contenders for governor campaigned across the state this Memorial Day weekend, too. Lee Zeldin stopped in Rochester to honor a 100-year-old World War II veteran. Zeldin has $3 million in campaign cash. Andrew Giuliani stumped this weekend from Clinton County to Queens. Giuliani has $300,000 to spend ahead of the June 28th primary.